This is Chris Kelly with your Model Fit Kickstart Workout A. Workout A consists of three circuits followed by a little pre-work post-workout conditioning. So just follow along with me. I'll demonstrate each circuit. I want you to perform the exercises in each circuit back to back for the prescribed sets and reps um, in our workout chart before moving on to the next circuit. All right. So with that said, our first circuit uh, begins with a hand walk. All right. With a hand walk, what I'm going to do is just come into a push-up position, keep my abs tight. Walk out as far as I can comfortably, pause at the top, and come back. Now the main thing with this exercise is I'm keeping my back flat like a table, slight arch in my back, no more than that, and I'm feeling this in my core only versus my arms and my legs. All right? You might feel it a bit in your arms, but not more than the stomach. All right? So press down on the floor, keep your abs tight. You can walk it out uh, with your hands pretty close to you to make it easier. Okay? Or you can make it harder by simply stepping out, walking out farther with your hands, once again, we just want to make sure that you're feeling it in your stomach um, versus anywhere else, versus the low back or the arms. So again, you can walk, begin by walking out far and then lessen the steps to make it easier. Okay, from here we're going into a side-lying leg lift. All right, and, in the, uh, and you're going to have this performed against the wall, but we can also just do this freestanding. And what I'm looking for here, up to 15 side-lying leg lifts. Again, I'm, I'm thinking coming up fast, down very slowly. If you are up against the wall, I want you to be pressing your heel into the wall. Think about lowering very slowly. If not, keep this front foot or keep this top foot slightly behind the bottom foot. Do not let it come forward. We should feel it in this area only versus the front of the leg. All right. So keep your hand in here. Keep this muscle contracting. I'm looking for 15 reps on each side. All right. Now from here we have what is called a plank shrug. With the, with the plank shrug, this exercise looks pretty benign, but it's going to work our shoulder blades, kind of some stabilizing muscles back here. All I want you to do is just drop down, shrug your shoulders, and then push back up. All right? This can also be done in a plank position to make it a little bit harder. But the key is that we're feeling this between the shoulder blades and in the upper back, again, versus anywhere else. This is the low back, such as you know the front of the chest, whatever it may be. That's what I'm looking for there. So shoulder shrugs. Um, we have uh, dumbbell external rotation or external rotation with a plate. So with this, again, I've got the dumbbell here, just rotating up and down. You can also put your hand here on your shoulder to keep that down. And I'm just coming up and down, again, a total of 10 to 15 times. And with that, um, you should feel it again in the back more so. Um, you shouldn't be you know, feeling it anywhere else. Make sure the shoulder is not shrugging as you're performing this exercise as well. That's important. For our final exercise, we have a side plank with an arm sweep. And with this, I'm simply going to come up into a side plank position, tighten my abs, sweep up and down, just like this, all right, for up to 15 reps on each side. And the key for all of these exercises during this first initial phase is we're trying to injury-proof the body. All right, we want to we want to focus and strengthen these stabilized muscles and these core muscles. So when we really get into this more, these more intense ab circuits and the training to come, that everything is is fortified and ready to go. So it's a very important part of the program. I want you to perform those exercises in sequence as a circuit two to three times before moving on. Now for our main strength circuit this month, we are going to start out with what is called a floor dumbbell press. All right, with this. I'm just going to take two dumbbells here. I'm going to start from the floor. Abs are tight, pressing my back into the ground, just pressing up and coming down. All right, now one thing you'll notice with this is my thumbs are pointed back. So the dumbbells are not here like this. They're in this, what we call this neutral position. So once again, I'm looking for up to 12 reps. If you can do more than 12, we need to move up in the weight. All right, if you can do less than eight, we need to move down in the weight. All right, so it's as simple as that. Um, just make sure you keep this, you log this in your workout chart. All right, for our next exercise, for our leg move here, we have a single leg deadlift. All right, with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up against a, a wall or, some, or a dumbbell rack, something that will give me a little bit of support. I'm going to bend my knees, slide my back leg behind me, keeping it off the ground, pause at the bottom, and come back up. The main form cue with this exercise is my back is staying flat like a table. I'm not rounding as I come down. I'm keeping my shoulder blades squeezed down at back, pausing at the bottom, and pulling that off the floor. All right. Now this can also be done uh, with a kettlebell, which I which I actually prefer. Uh, the handle is a little bit better for that, but we can also do it with something like a plate or a even weight put into a backpack. All right. So anything will suffice 
And for our last exercise, we're going to need either a power rack or maybe a TRX. But what we're going to do is what's called an inverted row. All right, so with this, I'm going to start with my knees bent, hips up in the air, pull my chest to the bar, posh one or two seconds and come back down. Again, I'm trying to keep my, uh, my stomach flat here so my hips are in line with my shoulders. Pause at the top, come back down. To make this exercise harder, I can straighten my legs out. Same rules apply. I'm trying to pull this to my chest. I'm pausing at the top and coming back down. All right, to make this even harder, I can even put my feet up on a box or even put a plate on my chest. So any of those things, um, great way to increase intensity. Just think about, you know, any, it, more than 12 reps, move up the weight. Uh, less than 12 reps, move down in some fashion. Or I'm sorry, less than 8 reps. All right, with the strength circuit, I'm looking for you to perform those three things back to back, uh, those three things back to back as a circuit th uh, for three rounds, all right? Um, from there, we are going to move into our circuit training, all right? With the circuit training, you're going to need a stopwatch, you know, a timer of some kind. We're going to set a timer for anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. You're going to add a minute or two a week, so you start with 8 minutes in the, in the week one, week four we're up to 12 minutes. Um, but the objective is that we perform, we're going to perform uh, four exercises, let's see, actually five exercises back to back um, for a period of 8 to 12 minutes. All right? The objective is um, we want to see how many circuits we can get out of that. All right? So if we perform three rounds of those things in week one, you're in pretty good shape. But if we perform, uh, you know, eight rounds in week three, you're in better shape because you packed more work into the same amount of time. So it's what, is, what we call density. So with that said, our first exercise in this circuit is a shoulder tap push-up, right? With this, I'm going to get my chest down to the ground, come up, tap, chest down to the ground, come up, tap, just like this. And again, the main thing here is that we're moving with speed. You know, if you're if you're not a, if you find that you're you know you're losing form here on the floor, you're only coming down maybe halfway or whatever. Move up to a bench. It's perfectly fine. We just want to knock out as much volume as we can. So make sure you know it doesn't have to be the hardest. Just make sure that you're on a you know you're at a difficulty level that allows you to move fairly quickly. Now for our next exercise, we have a one arm row. Okay, for the one arm row, I'm just going to grab a dumbbell here. Pull. Think about pulling up to my up to into my pocket here. I'm looking for eight reps on each side. Alright, then we're going to move on to our leg exercise, which is a single leg hip lift. Alright, so with this, I'm just going to start on my back. One foot is up in the air, press my back into the ground, up and down eight times. To make this exercise a little bit harder, you can put your back on an elevated surface like a step or even a bench to really heat up, the, uh, to really increase the difficulty. And I'll just demonstrate that here. You can just get yourself a bench. Place my back on the bench, off slightly, up and down, in this fashion. All right, from here our next exercise would be a switch jump. So I'm going to come down, one, one, two, two. So I'm looking for eight on each side, which would be 16 in total. Our last exercise is a 20-yard cone-to-cone sprint. So I'm going to place two cones down next to one another and just sprint back and forth, down and back eight times. It's kind of, kind of hard to sprint frame here, but you get the idea. All right, now again, clock for eight minutes, uh, eight to 12 minutes, see how many of those you can do. And we're going to end with our post-workout conditioning. All right, in the beginning, this is optional, but if you still feel like you need a little bit of a finisher, something to give you an extra kick, all right, we have a couple choices for you, okay? I'm looking for three to five rounds of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, meaning uh, we're doing work for 30 seconds, we're resting for 30 seconds. Our first exercise is a burpee. All right. Just like that, the second choice it would be a mountain climber. All right, our third choice would be sprinting on the treadmill. All right, so those are your three choices for this month. Um, I would say choose a different exercise. I want you to choose one 
and it do anywhere from three to five rounds of 30 on, 30 off. Um, switch that exercise per workout. Just make sure you're doing uh, different exercises with each one. But again, that's your workout A. Do those things in sequence. Record your results in your workout chart, and that's A.